Michael Farron of Columbia says he puts steel pipes in monkeys' heads to see the effects of stress on their menstrual cycles. Blood continues to run down this monkey's face even though she's come out of anesthesia. This baboon, named Handsome, was to be used in E. Sander Connolly's devastatingly cruel stroke experiments, the same experiments that caused a whistleblower to contact PETA due to the suffering of the baboons. Handsome was rejected because of his size and a problem with chronic regurgitation, and instead, he was killed in cancer experiments conducted by Jeffrey Bruce, even though animal studies have proved fruitless for the disease. These baboons are pregnant. Raymond Stark of Columbia surgically implants a delivery tube into the mothers so he can infuse their fetuses with nicotine. They are further burdened with heavy instrumentation backpacks. Their babies will be killed. These monkeys are under the constant stress of anxiety, and they show it. There is nowhere but a cage corner for these fearful animals to go. You can see the back of this mother baboon where she was shaved and instrumented. She now holds her baby protectively and looks away from the observer hoping the danger will pass. The baboon and monkey in these frames have gone insane from captivity. Their only coping mechanism is constant repetitive motion, referred to as stereotypies. Columbia University provides no psychological enrichment or socialization for these poor animals.